one and a two and a chick a boom a chick. So I'm working on a new website for my Remodeler Circle program. And like any website project, it has a lot of moving parts. I need to figure out the pages to include, how I want it designed. Um, I have lots of content writing to complete. And last week, I worked on it for about an hour. And what did I have to show for my hour of dedicated work? Absolutely stinking nothing. I started writing some content, then I switched to make an outline of the menu and what pages I wanted to create. I bounced over to my existing website to see what blog posts I would move over to this new Remodeler Circle website. I tinkered with a testimonial that one of my clients sent over. I was sporadic and jumping all over the place. Sound familiar? I find myself there fairly frequently. The next day, before I sat down to work on the project again, I thought for a minute and picked one thing, just one thing related to the project to focus on and move forward. And at the end of that hour, I had one piece of content written out and completed. I was able to check something off. A lot of your remodeling projects for clients are like what I described above. A lot of the working on the business items, not in the business, but on the business items that you long to focus on are like this as well. They're projects that have a lot of moving parts and pieces and a ton of things that you have to do. And what I want this to be is just a reminder to break your work and tasks down to bite-sized chunks. Decide on what one thing you're going to grab and drive through to completion versus dabbling on five different things and not getting anything actually done. Like a lot of my my content that I create, I, I create it as a reminder to me as much as I do as a reminder to you. Um, so I know just even recording this and thinking about it again is a good reminder to me. Focus on one thing at a time, Kyle. Slow down. F- pick one thing. Have 100% focus on it. Get it done. And I hope this uh, is helpful to you as well as you go out there and try to tackle your projects and get things done and implemented. So this will be interesting. I have sent this over to my assistant to get this podcast edited and posted. And as I mentioned at the top of this recording, I was building a new website for my Remodeler Circle program. So if you go to www.remodelerscircle.com, hopefully what you're going to see is a completed website. If not fully completed it, ought to be pretty stinking close by the time you see and listen to this uh, podcast and click over there. So go check out remodelercircle.com. It is my flagship um, program, a mastermind group of non-compete remodelers throughout the country, um, video-based monthly meeting, and a whole lot of other benefits and features. Um, Remodelercircle.com.